A question that I've been asked is, uh, let's say I'm using a consultant for a matter and he does not charge me HST, do I still charge my client HST and get paid? The answer is absolutely yes. Let's take an example for that. I'm going to create a new client uh, or use an existing client. Like for example, let's say uh, I'm going to choose uh, Bill Maher for this exercise, right? Like, and I'm going to first show you how you can enter a third party consultant. To do that, you'll go on the disbursements and retainer tab and you'll say, add new disbursement and it'll be a third party consultant fee, right? So here you will say, hey, consultation fee expense, right? Now this is where, let's say that consultation is $500. You'll put that, it's 565 with HST because you're going to charge your client the 565, right? Now in the bottom, obviously you need to enter 500 because that's what you're paying the consultancy. Let's say, you know, uh, it's John's law office and John's law office does not accept HST yet. You mark it as a tax extension. What you're saying here is you're paying John 500, but you're charging your client 565, right? And how did you pay John? Maybe you wrote him a check and he said, hey, John, this is your money. So you paid him, you wrote him a $500 check and you decided to charge the client 565. So now when you actually go ahead and raise an invoice, the client will actually pay you 565 because the, the, the projected balance, uh, okay, is going to be 565. So let me actually raise an invoice. I'm going to skip preview for this uh, particular matter and 565 is what you will be raising and you will see in the invoice clearly the disbursement will be marked with HST even though the client did not charge you because here you go as you see consultation fee 500 plus 65 that's what you're charging and that's what the client owes you now internally as I told you you did not pay HST for that particular uh, client now when the client pays you you can click on the question mark and you can you can you can click here and say hey the client paid me 565 sometimes this could even be legal aid like you know they might have paid you the 565 and you can say hey they paid me using uh, you know I don't know a wire transfer or a bank transfer you can record the number here and do an apply so what you've done is what we've shown in this example is like you know a client charged you for services that you passed on to your client, right? Like, you know, your, uh, your consultant's charge, you passed it on to your client. The consultant did not charge you an HST, but you charged an HST, HST and then you received the payment uh, for that, okay? So the key accounting element that you need to now remember is the HST that you collected needs to be remitted to CRA. So you all would have captured that as an HST receivable. So again, to summarize, under the disbursement, you would basically, on the top part, you would charge HST. The bottom part, you would enter it without an HST, right? Because that's the expense that you incurred with uh, John's law office. You would raise an invoice where 500 is your uh, revenue and $65 is your HST. And then that way, when the client pays you 565, you can collect all of it.